praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, my name is Mar. I'm an Apostolic Pentecostal, and in today's video, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a darker video. Um, basically, I'm here to you know just kind of express kind of what's happened in my life the past 72 hours, and really um, what the death of a best friend uh, has taught me. Well, you know, as of making this video, it's nine o'clock and, um, you know, in about four hours, I'm going to be, you know, seeing one of my best friends, uh, be buried. You know, I, uh, I sit here, you know, looking at his memorial card and, you know, I just see his face and I just think it's not real. I remember, you know, getting the news four days ago. And just sitting there that night, knowing that his funeral is going to be the next day, and just still thinking that it's not real, just a denial of that he's dead. And, you know, it really wasn't until I went to his uh, funeral and the receiving of friends and family when I was, his, when I started embracing his family and just, you know, I could just see in their eyes the pain they had. Uh, the tears uh, filled my eyes and, and rolled down my face. It, it hit me, you know, seeing the casket there, seeing the flowers, seeing all these arrangements for him because he's not here anymore. And it hit me. And then I thought, wow, he, he really is gone. And then I woke up the next day and sat there in bed and just thought to myself, it's not real again. It, it's a, I'm denying it. I know I'm denying it. I sit here as I'm making this and I still feel like that I could just give him a call, but I know he won't answer. And, and for me, it's just truly been a roller coaster for me. It's been up and down. It's just been four days and I'm just, been expressing, you know, talking to my wife, talking to friends at the church, you know, just sharing, you know, this has been a first for me. Like I've, I've never lost anyone close to me. I, I lost a grandma, but I wasn't really close. And that's the only immediate family member that I lost in my family, but I've never really lost anyone that I was super close to. But I've never, lost anyone I had a, like an intimate relationship with, you know, someone I laughed with, someone I cried with, someone I poured out my heart into and heard his words from his mouth coming from his heart, you know, memories upon memories, hours upon hours, spending time with each other, going through some of the biggest trials together in both our lives, being separated for a period of time you know, as friends, fighting for him in prayer, fighting for him in the legal process, fighting for so much. And then finally see him come out on the other side and, and be a better person. Never lost anyone that, you know, you can just call them up and you pick right back up. You can see each other randomly out on the street and, and it's like as if you're catching up from yesterday. I mean, that's the type of person that um, has passed away out of my life. And in the past few days, it really has taught me a lot of things. And I just wanted to share that with you, what, what death has, what death can teach you. Um, because again, this is a first for me. Many of you watching may have already gone through this process, but for me, this is entirely new, but this is what it's, this is what it's taught me. And the first thing it's taught me is to be grateful. Um, that night with my wife, when I received the news, um, I was a mess. You know, I, I pulled up old YouTube videos of me and him, um, just being dumb and uh, just, just like reflecting on all the memories I had. All I had was pictures of him. And really at that moment, I just wanted to, uh, you know, hear his voice. And, it, and that night, I just asked my wife, I said, pray with me and just just be grateful that we had this day 
And if it's in God's will for us to have tomorrow, we're going to wake up tomorrow and then just say another prayer of gratefulness because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. And the irony of all this was Wednesday night, I met, you know, our Bible study and I commentated on a, after listening to the story of Jonah and I just, and, and the story of Job. And I just said, you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Not knowing that my friend was not going to make it that night. That would be his last night uh, here on earth. And then may God have mercy on his soul there afterwards. And even in all that, <laughs> even in my denial, even in my sadness, the very next verse that I heard come out that night, and the next day was, Lord, I will worship you because you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Because Jesus is good. He's always good. And it's his timing. It's not ours. The second thing it taught me, what death has taught me so far, is you can never say I love you enough. I remember receiving the news and calling my brother and asked if he had heard about it. And I just said, man, I love you. If I haven't told you that this week, man, I love you. Because I want that to be the last thing that people hear from my mouth. You know, I want that to be the last memory and know for a fact that they know that I love them. And those three little simple words mean the world. And finally, the last thing death has taught me is um, to not wait. You know, I remember he had just started getting his life back into order and he had been through so much. You know, I just wanted to see him victorious at the end. I remember just thinking, you know what? I just, I just can't wait to run into him in a few years. Like, I know it's going to be random. You know, I'm just going to, I'll have, I'll be married by then. I'll probably have some kids. I'll be deep into my career. You know, I'll have a house by then. I just wanted to like set this picture perfect and then just, man, let's just, let's just catch up. And then you can't. He's dead. There is no catching up. It's over. The last memory will be the last memory. And the last memory I have of him was uh, him messaging me in June. And he was in uh, Roatan. But he messaged me and he said, hey man, forgive me. And I remember getting that message and just being like, what for, you know? There's, there's nothing, there's no bad blood between us. What are you talking about? And he says, man, I just, want, I just want you to forgive me for all the times I, I gave you crap about God, you know, and all those times we had disagreements and the hours upon hours of conversation we had showing each other's points, you showing me the Bible, me showing the way I thought. I man, I just want you to forgive me. And I remember just getting smiled and tickled at that. I said, man, you don't have to forgive me. <laughs> you don't have to ask me for forgiveness. You need to ask the one who can forgive for forgiveness. And that's God. And he says, yeah, man, I just, I just want to let you know, man, I've been on a journey and I think I'm getting closer. And that gave me hope for him. And I don't know where he ended on. And I know I making this video or saying any prayer there afterwards has, won't be a factor in God's judgment. But I just simply asked that God have mercy on his soul. It's been, It's not been the easiest of times for me, and I'm thankful for my wife, too, who's really been at my side through all this. And, uh, man, life is precious. And I wake up today, and I just thank God that I've been given another day, because I don't know when my time's up. I didn't think my best friend at 31 would be his last. I thought for sure we'd get old together. I thought for sure we'd see each other's kids grow up together, but that's not the case. Say I love you to your loved ones. Tell them that you miss them. Don't wait to catch up because you never know when the last time you're going to catch up with them. And um, be grateful for today because God's given you this day and today is the day of salvation and you have a chance still to be baptized in that beautiful name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. You still have today to receive the beautiful gift of the Holy Ghost. You still have today to live in holiness and fear of Him and give yourself the hope and the chance that you'll be able to join him one day in his beautiful kingdom. So, uh, you know, thank you all for listening. Um, 
If you've been through this uh, tragedy in your life, I would love some tips. Um, so please comment down below. Um, I'm open to really anything at this point of some type of, I don't even know what the word I'm trying to go for, but um, some consoling techniques, I guess, um, through this time. So anyways, I love you all. May God bless you and uh, keep fighting the good fight.